So guys, this is Smokey with Mad 5280. We're upgrading to a Michimoto radiator. A little penguin, put my fire. This one no bueno. We gotta remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and then the canister for the reserve. Obviously the hose and we gotta clamp and you'll check out the clamps that I got. Next, you gotta disconnect the clamps. As you can see that. Right there. And I got these clamps from Harbor Freight Tools. They're really cool. They work pretty cool. They're plastic. So they will clamp into the radiator hose and not damage it. You see right here, I clamped it once. Now we're going to put the new one on and check it out. Once your radiator is actually drained, you can take off the hose and then start with the fans. Stay tuned so you can see that. Next is the fan. And you want to put in the one on the left side. If you're looking at the engine like this, you want to put in this one first. Because then it'll be a pain the ass to get the other one in. That way you can put it in through this side. And then once you're in here, you just slide it to the side where it goes. Next time we'll probably be upgrading the fans. Ah shit, I got stuck. Imagine that. And also you gotta make sure you put it, if you can see these two clamps, that's where the fans connect. You gotta make sure you do it. first one in which is that side that way you don't have to disconnect the hose from here then you go with the second one and like i said you gotta make sure you put i'll show you this way and put it in these two little tabs they match those two little holes down there you gotta be careful with the electrical components Once you have them in there, you just tie the bolts here with the hoses and all that. Then you can put the water reservoir. This freaking hole doesn't match. can't even fit my hand in there anymore even though I got really skinny hands now that I got my hand in here I'm trying to get that clamp for the fan connected and you'll hear a click once it clicks that means it's connected then you can put in the reservoir in there make sure this bottom part goes lines up with the little hole down there but before we put in the reservoir, we gotta put in the screw in first on this side, cause then we won't be able to put in, tighten it with the reservoir on. So you gotta put the screw on first, then you could go with the reservoir. Uh, don't forget to connect the wires as well. I'm gonna snug it. Cause this thing scratched on my fans. I don't want to mess them up more than they are. Once you have that one screwed, then you go to put the reservoir. Then you have to shove this little thing inside that little hole right there. Make sure it snaps in there, like so. And then you shove it in here and then you just push it. This is ready for cooling. After that, you gotta do the same thing pressure washer and then a regular knot. 
pressure washer. Regular one. To connect this little hose thing. So this is the original screws. They're different from this ones. So we won't be needing those anymore. And by safe place, I mean in a bucket or the trash. Uh, if you don't know if you notice, I threw it away and look at what happened. And this is the hose that goes here. Oh man, I'm gonna need a clamp for that one. Go ahead and tighten those up. This looks badass. Start putting all the hoses back together. This one ties the hose and it actually grabs the radiator, the fan as well. Go ahead and use this like that. Once you connect all the hoses and put on the screws and connect the fans, then that's when you can start doing the perch. Stay tuned so you can see how we perch this thing and get the bubbles out. What's up guys? See, now that the fans are actually kicked on, uh, we had to, well, we already had filled everything up with uh, antifreeze and now there's bubbles in the system. In order to get rid of those bubbles, you gotta make sure you turn on you see the bubbles right there well anyway you gotta make sure you turn on the 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 heat on your car to max and it'll get rid of those bubbles in there uh, as you can see it has a lot of bubbles so we have air air bubbles in there we gotta get rid of those uh the fans are still on now let's go inside and check this out Oh, my daughter has her car all pimped out with her heart steering wheel. And yeah, she has the inner cooler service. That means we need to fill it up too. We'll get to that later. <laughs> all right. Oh, this thing is on AC. Well, turn that off and then make sure you crank the heat up to as max as you can. And set it all up. Ready to go. That way, all the antifreeze could go through all the hoses and stuff and then get rid of the bubbles whoever invented this funnel it's badass man this is how you get rid of air bubbles and it will save you a long trip on a long time like overheating and stuff like that bubbles could create some overheating so uh, stay tuned so you can learn how to remove this funnel out all right guys we got tiny bit of bubbles like that literally nothing so what i'm gonna do now is put this bad boy in there and show you how to remove it after you got your system full and you got rid of your bubble plug that in here Now that the system's full, make sure to put a rag underneath the funnel just in case it does spill, but it shouldn't spill as much. And then make sure the car is off. Then you jink it off a little bit or pull it out and then it just pops out like that. And my rag is really dirty, my bad. This is the fastest rag I could find. That's how you do it. Do not open it when it's hot. But we gotta get rid of this cap so we could put the original one. Once you take it out, this is for from the kit. You're all the way to the top. 
put in your real original one? What? The, oh, I had water in there or antifreeze, and you should be good to go from there, man. I love this kit. So there you go. It's just a little bit of water, man. But we got rid of the air bubbles and all that. Hope you guys liked the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.